up everybody fell back again another video for my farm toy channel here gonna go do some John Deere green again this video I'm gonna do a tractor I recently got it's a John Deere 4255 116 scale of course it's a great tractor classic setup and it's from the prestige line very cool Let's take a quick look at the box first. Let's do that now. Here's the box, everybody. Classic clamshell inside. Hold, it, hold the tractor in place. John Deere 4255 Prestige line. John Deere logo in the corner there. Either end of the box, we've got a picture of the replica looks to be. On the back of the box actual tractor doing some work plowing there looks like no I'm sorry my nearest ready so it's pretty cool not a bad collectible here they always dress the boxes up nice all right let's move on to the start of the show the 4255 and let's do that now all right, everybody, here it is, the John Deere 116 scale 4255 from the Prestige line. Um, this tractor, I don't know when it was produced. Um, sometimes on the bottom of these boxes, it gives you the date. Sometimes it doesn't. On the bottom of this box, I don't see a date. So I'm not sure when this came out, but I think it was one of the early renditions into that line. Um, just because of some of the details I've seen on newer prestige line tractors um, there's some differences slight differences in my opinion on this one but it's really cool I want to thank DC toy queen on Facebook she was the one that hooked me up with this I think I paid around a hundred dollars shipped for it it wasn't real expensive I mean if you find this thing aftermarket for that less than that let me know but um, I know on aftermarket I've seen it way way beyond $200 so and it was new in the box of course still sealed it's pretty nice nice little details on it um, wish I knew the year release but uh, that's okay um, I feel like it's an early rendition into the prestige collection though the actual real tractor 4255 produced between 88 and 92 I believe 127 PTO horsepower so it's a fairly big tractor of course uh, medium in range I would say and uh, you could do some heavy duty work with it nonetheless I would imagine I remember seeing these many times in my younger days uh, farming throughout uh, my area so pretty popular series of not only the 4255 but the 55 series were pretty popular this collectible is pretty cool on this uh, rear end there got a three point hitch PTO box everything really nicely done some nice little details there in that area to be sure they did a nice capture there in my opinion and all that back there pretty good um, cab classic John Deere cab here of course nice open windows everywhere windows um have wipers on them and they're just kind of molded into the plastic of the window looks to be but they're pretty nice to see that there's some little details like that but classic john deere cab flat designs everywhere pretty cool flat fenders um back of this cab you've got some lights that flasher lights at the very top got some lights on either side and some lights on the back of the fenders right there and that is uh, all inserted um, at least these lights on the fenders in the top corner of the cab are this here up here I don't know that that's a decal or not the top flashers on the cab on the front and back it looks almost like it's painted to me but it's pretty nice inside the cab it's really good capture the doors don't open so I did my best with my pictures but the steering wheel is black with the John Deere logo on it seat is brown um, 
levers all around the steering wheel here in the steering column steering area nicely done um, nice little levers on the right hand side of the driver's seat the foot pedals are kind of molded into the plastic interior I think looks like but other than that there are some neat little details in that cab nonetheless for what it is pretty cool um, left hand side of this tractor of course you got nice little steps for entry into the cab up here on the front of the uh, hooded hood area right by the door of course big long handle there for entry into the cab got a classic 40 uh, 55 series of John Deere hood nice and long there starts out narrow at the operator station and gets wider toward the nose toward the grill pretty cool got some nice caps on top here I'm guessing through fuel and the such um, nice handle out here on the end of the hood by the by the grill area your muffler your breather intake there both really tall and uh, both black in color and they're uh, plastic engine compartment area on either side of the tractor Neat little details on both sides of this with the uh, engine details and components. You can see some neat stuff there. Not too bad, I, I would say. Um, front grill, classic. Front grill, 55 series. Three lights at the top there. Middle, big uh, John Deere emblem and logo. Nice capture of all that. Um, the lights are decaled. Um, so of course it's a wraparound decal like the old old John Deere's used to be and this is what I was going to say like the newer prestige line tractors none of this is decaling it's all plastic inserts and stuff so that's what made me think this is an older prestige line tractor but it's still kind of cool to see that your decal on either side of the hood here starts out black with John Deere and yellow then it turns into yellow now here at the end of the hood the black model number but a model number in black 4255 but like I said on the front of the grill area the lights are wrap around decaling got your nice set of front weights here they are metal um, nice little detailed front weights on uh, tires on this tractor six around all rubber of course pretty nice Rear tires, nice big tires, dual wheel space, the axle, axle spacing on the duals, nice to see. Nice big rubber tires, like I said, nice tread on. The wheel on the rear of the tractor, deep out, outer deep inset rim, the inner part. Some nice details and pattern for bolts and stuff. Rear tire on the front of the tractor, of course. Nice, big old front wheel assist, of course. Pretty unique looking tire. I don't know that I've ever really seen this exact tire before. It's pretty unique in my opinion. And then your uh, front wheel inset outer rim, of course. That big cap in the middle with some details as well. It's pretty cool. The underneath of the tractor does hold some nice details as well on the front end and on the rear center and rear end really there's some neat little details on this tractor for sure some nice little uh nice to see stuff that they do but um my opinion this must be an early entry into the prestige collection just because i've seen engine details on some of the other newer more recent releases and I think they're, they hold a little more details than this does. The engine compartment areas of course and in the cab I've seen more detail but uh, it's still really nice tractor. Really cool. I was glad I got it and like I said the aftermarket prices I had seen were insane and I got this from her for 110 maybe. 100, 100 to 110 shipped that's an extremely good price on this uh, 
collectible here. All right, everyone, I'll bring a comparison forward. Let's do that now. All right, everybody, I'm back. 116 scale John Deere 4255 Prestige Collection. Side by side with my 116 scale IH International 1066 Prestige Collection there. So, uh, red v green, I guess, you should, you could say here. But, uh, kind of two generations apart, really, actually, too. So, uh, still awesome, awesome tractors here. All right, everybody, I'll bring that camera closer. Or, uh, I'll get on to my final thoughts first, and let's do that now. All right. 116 scale John Deere 4255 Prestige Collection by Ertl. Nice, nice tractor. I love the setup of it too. Of course, with your front wheel assist, your big, nice dual wheels on the back, spaced out very, very nicely. That's perfect spacing, in my opinion. Pretty damn good. Uh, nice tractor, nice collectible. Hard to find collectible too. And if you do find it, it's more than what I paid, so I definitely recommend DC Toy Queen on Facebook. If you search that, you will find her page. Or uh, you actually search DC Diecast. If you put DC Diecast, you'll find the page. Um, and she is a great, great supplier of this stuff, and she doesn't try to overcharge people. Um, very rarely I've seen her prices beat. It has happened, but not very much. Great, great collectible here. Great person to buy from. Recommend you check it out. Awesome tractor. All right, everyone, I'll bring that camera closer for a quick look at this thing. I want to thank everybody that tunes in. This is Phil. You all have a blessed day. We'll talk again soon.